Most people who have unusual breeds of dog don't know why. They like them. Someone recommended them. The Bracco Italiano is an unusual breed. This owner knows exactly what it does and she and her dog are doing it. And that is a good reason to have a dog. I am out on an HPR training day at Edale in Derbyshire's Dark Peak. If you're a rambler, you will know Edale as one of the start or end points of the Pennine Way. If you're a grouse shooter, you should know Edale because it offers excellent walked-up days. Today hosting the German Wirehead Pointer Club and Friends. Well, we had four DLPs, three GSPs and one Bracco Italiano. Well, it's a training day, really. It's a chance for handlers to get you know, their dogs on to grouse, not under trial conditions. And yeah, just to see where they're at, really, if they're ready for any any trials or feel, any field work, really. The four-year-old Bracco makes the first retrieve of its career, and its owner is delighted. It's a low-pressure day, both on the birds and on the guns. S- some places you go, there is pressure, you know, and and here it's yeah, it's friendly. There's there's so much ground to cover. Um, there's there's no uh, yeah. It's just an enjoyable day. You know, for us as guns, we, we like to see... I, well, personally, I like shooting over dogs more than anything. Uh, preferably my dogs, but I like shooting over other people's dogs as well because you learn stuff by watching other people. The handlers learn by watching other handlers. Um, and it's, it's uh, a yeah, learning experience for everyone and a good bit of fun. There are some tricky retrieves. One young dog has to go after a pricked bird. Gunner came on a flashpoint and the cover got up. Um, he was shot, clipped. Um, and it went down, had a back wind behind it, and it went down the hill. It, it carried on down, down, the, down in the valley, in the gully. Sit. Oi! Um, so we had to obviously rush after it because we want, don't want the Indian bird going on. So The retrieve is successful, and in the windy conditions, the day ends up being mainly about the retrieves. I, I mean, we started off, you know, with the wind at our backs, it was... Mm-hmm. More H and R rather than P, wasn't it? Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's... well, yeah, we started off with all great intentions, the pointed birds only, and that soon got scrapped. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a good dog to point birds in these conditions, and the birds are a bit jumpy anyway, especially when you've got a backwind. Um, and I think yeah. with with quite a few in the gallery as well, we're making quite a bit of noise, you know, with a backwind, so they're just. But the dog, dogs are different standards. You know, you've got some some open standard field trial dogs, and you've got some very beginner novice handlers, novice dogs. So, you know, it's for them to learn. And if we can drop the birds for them, that's ideal. Mm-hmm. If uh, if it doesn't all go to plan, then it's just you know, it's training. Keep going until you find some more birds to shoot. By the end of the day, we have seen grouse in the hundreds. We have shot six or seven brace, and the dogs and their owners return home wiser. For more about the German Wirehead Pointer Club, go to gwpclub.com and to find out about shooting or even rambling at Edale, visit edalegathering.com. That would be brave.